cork floorings. And uh, well, it's actually an uh, industrial process that uses uh, cork waste from the cork manufacturer, cork stoppers manufacturer. We are uh, basically a recycling company that uh, get all this cork waste and make a uh, product out of it. Basically what we do is uh, to uh, separate the cork waste from residues, uh, wood or other kind of uh, foreign objects and grind it into different uh, sizes and then uh, agglomerate it according to a recipe so we can create designs according to the shape of the grain. So we can have big pieces of cork mixed with small grains and give, it, give us a, a different design. So that together with uh, uh, using color and different finishes, you get in the end uh, flooring. Cork has quite, uh, quite uh, a number of applications, uh, some of them uh, more well-known, like flooring or uh, wine stoppers, some of them quite, uh, quite high-tech, uh, like the fans on the windmill of a power generator that can incorporate cork, uh, boating, uh, luxury, uh, luxury yachts do feature cork, but also, of course, in uh, really high-tech uh, aerospace materials, like the Space Shuttle, for example, and um, also uh, a kimono. Uh, I like to call it the world's first waterproof kimono, but the fact is, from clothing to design, those are applications that are very, very sophisticated and increasingly admired throughout the, throughout the world because of their sustainability characteristics, but also because the technical capabilities of cork are tremendous and the world is finally, unfortunately, beginning to understand those.